Hello, everyone. You're watching God, Sex, and Love, and it's your girl, Miracle Sims. Tonight, we're going to be chatting with the ladies of Speaking Grace TV, so stay tuned. Solo, a life story told through love and relationships. Find out more at cbiztvonline.com. That's cbiztvonline.com. Welcome back to God, Sex, and Love. As you all can see, I'm here with the lovely ladies of Speaking Grace TV. Hey, ladies. Hello. Hello. Hi, Miracle. Thank you so much. Again. Yes. Thanks yes, for having so us. Yes, yes, yes. My apologies. <laughs> yes, it's so great to see you ladies again, too. Um, you all may know, uh, people that watch the show or everything like that, that not long ago, I was on Speaking Grace TV talking about love. And so now yeah. these ladies, they're on God, Sex, and Love. So welcome, 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 ladies. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you, Miracle. And it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. We are you know super, what? super, super, super excited. Yes, me too, me too. I was just about to start being messy. Because uh, <laughs> I was going to say, why don't you ladies introduce each other? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, that, that would be fun. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to be a mess. I don't want to be a mess. That would be fun, actually. Well, um, I'm going to be introducing Adana. That's the other beautiful lady there. So her, her name is Adana. And you can also call her Esther. She's also called Esther. She's a wife. Um, she's a mom. She's um, an entrepreneur. She also um, um, works as a fashion designer. So, um, as a fashion designer, she she <laughs> yes she focuses on um, bridal ways and all. And uh, what else is Adana? She's a YouTuber. <laughs> She's a YouTuber. Hi. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> speaking. I'm actually laughing. So we call speaking Grace TV together, and um, yeah, she also does a normal um, professional job. Yeah. Nice. That was a nice introduction. That went bad. You okay? I did well. It's not to introduce your co-host. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. You know, it, it, it's good to have the last laugh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm thinking of what she would say. Stylish. I'm not. I'm actually not thinking. I'm just thinking how far and how well I should go. Well, you know, because as I always say, I'm a good Christian. So, <laughs> let me introduce Wumi as I call her, but sometimes she likes being called Hannah. Um, she's a wife, she's a mother, she's a lovely lady, as we know. Um, she's a blogger, she has a blog, um, she loves to write things about God. She loves God, basically. I think that's that's the, the, the long and short about her. She loves God. She's a wonderful friend. <laughs> because for anyone to tolerate me, that person is wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah, she's she's a wonderful friend. And as she said, um, we call host um speaking Grace TV. Um, she she's she's an entrepreneur as well. Um, a lazy one sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has a normal <laughs> professional job that she. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love it. Y'all, y'all are she, has, she has her a professional job that she does um, alongside her um, blogging, her YouTube, and all that. And um, someday. Someday we do hope um, to, ex should I say, open or establish 
a charity organization to help women and children basically we have started in our own little way but someday we hope to make it really big nice those were some awesome introductions yeah give it up for yourself that was great hey man y'all probably introduced each other better than you would have introduced yourself huh i found out a lot of good stuff i see there's a larger opera situation going on as a fashion designer like wait a minute like i'm behind i should have known all of this you know i need some fashions <laughs> I'm running out of fashion because I don't want to pull that thing out of my closet. I'm like, what have I not worn on the show yet? Um, <laughs> but anyway, thank you ladies for that introduction. I know I commented earlier, but I'm going to have to do it on the um, camera here that I love the coordination of the yellow. It's very nice. <laughs> it's beautiful and everything like that. So, you know, it should actually be saying Speaking Grace TV, but for some reason, it never shows anything we wear. Oh, they, okay, nice. And I see, I didn't know that too. I said, okay, cool. Got the merch. <laughs> talking about, yes. Love it, love it, love it. So, please tell GSL where you all are based. Oh, she's showing uh, her shirt. <laughs> yeah, I think she's just freaking out now. Uh, Wumi, we can hear you. Um, your picture is... Um... Um, I was saying... Even showing... on my own end, you're frozen as well. Oh. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. Um... Hello. We can hear you, Wumi. We just can't see you. Mm. Oh, no. There, okay, uh, should I leave if I'm joining again? Okay. Uh, you can if you if you would like to. Well, I'll stay on the lookout for you. All right. Okay. So um, while she while she does that, I will just um, um answer that question. So um, well, well Nigerian um, woman's from the western part of Nigeria. She's Yoruba. I'm from the eastern part of Nigeria. I'm Igbo, but we're based in the UK, Birmingham, to be precise. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, we're based yeah. currently. We're based in like fully based in the UK. Like our lives, our family, jobs, and everything in the UK in Birmingham. That is amazing. I know even right now. Um, I mean, I'm sure this is gonna be this is pre-recorded, everybody. I know y'all know this already. So, but right now it's like almost midnight for you, ladies, and mm. for me it's like 6 p.m. So yeah man it's just one of those things the interesting thing about like time zones and everything like that so i really appreciate you ladies taking out the time to chat with me and everything today um let me see i'm gonna keep a lookout for our friend miss hannah for her to be able to log back in but okay. yeah so um do you want to tell me like well i don't know now that she's gone i don't know is there anything you want to tell me about like how did you all meet like have you always been friends or what, what's the story behind your friendship from your point of view? <laughs> okay. So let me say some things before she comes. And um, just in case the next time you invite us, you don't see me, you can suspect her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think she's back. Um, she's come. Yes, she's coming. Uh, let me see if you her turn of camera. But yeah, what would you? Uh oh. Well, you don't want to tell me now. <laughs> I always like it when she speaks first. <laughs> got you, got you. Okay. okay, so, I, okay. so I can always have the last laugh. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So you want to tell the story first? <laughs> so we were going, we were going to see the backstory in regards to how did you ladies meet? Okay. She said she wants you to tell the story first. <laughs> why, why, you, why do you want me to tell the story first? I'm so sorry about my internet. I don't know what's going on tonight, but... No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's not break the circle. That's how we always do it. Just answer the question. No need to be difficult. No, you said, how did we meet? Right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. How did you ladies meet? So basically, we met at church. Uh, in 2017. Mm. Yeah. 
it's very very brief and precise for me adana might have a longer story but we <laughs> met at church oh, that really? was where we met mm. in 2017 and if you want more details you know it depends on where you want to know uh oh uh oh uh oh what I mean, did you want to touch on that meeting before i ask another question <laughs> <laughs> She's, she's like something is left out of that story what's going on <laughs> um well no well the, the truth is to answer the question um yes we met at church um in 2017 actually that's that that's actually the longest shot of the whole story that's how we met um did we meet in church we met did at we church meet? we met at church but the first time we spoke was at an event. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I what the, what, what's the story between now and then and now then? Like, how did you, obviously you ladies seem very close to me. Like, it seems like you ladies are very close. So how did you all become so close to the point where now you are co-hosting Speaking Grace TV? All right. So like, um, like we said earlier, we met at church, but I don't know. Um, actually said the first time we spoke was at an event a wedding actually and um that time um the both of us um, went through something that was similar hmm. we started discussing you know we spoke at length and all that you know encouraging each other and you know just uh, supporting each other you know go through that phase and um from there, you know, when you speak with somebody, you begin to see some, um, what was it called? We saw that um, our values, you know, aligned and all that. So we became close, more like sisters. And um, um, we sat down. For Speaking Grace TV, if you watched our introduction video on our channel, we said, um, just wanted to reach out to people. You know, YouTube is a place where we, uh, we've learned a lot. So it's just like, our own way of you know giving back you know giving mm -hmm. back you know what we know you know to um the society in general so um one part of speaking great tv is us reaching out to people you know preach um telling them about jesus you know um just showing the love of christ through that channel that's a part of speaking great tv okay so basically that, that that was our speaking grace tv came about we just wanted a platform where we could you know just you know um reach out to people and contribute our own quota so adana has something to add to what i've said <laughs> um well uh, well you said most of it um yeah so i i think i'll say the the very key thing that brought us together was just um that time that we met mm. so that time we met was um we actually met at the right time if i would say we met at the right time where we needed um each other mm. to talk to and you know relate things with and what we went through was so similar it was like god just placed us together like okay you 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 need somebody this is this is the person and you you need somebody this is the person so and it it it, it became really easy it became so easy from there and you know since we meet in church and we have um um very similar activities values friends environment so it just became it just it just <laughs> took off from there and then in 2020 during the um pandemic and all when we couldn't go to church because from church um once a month we do this outreach thing where we go out we share tracks and things like that and since we couldn't do all that we just thought women's a blogger already um mm. she blogs and and she can watch youtube <laughs> so, <laughs> so um you know every time every, most times she'll be like have you seen this have you seen this or she'll send me a link you know so we thought why don't we 
um contribute our own parts contribute our own quarter to um youtube as well and yeah so far so good um we've tried uh in our own little way to reach out to people preach the gospel and also help out in our own little way because you'll be surprised the people you meet on youtube you'll be shocked and amazed yeah, by what family. people are going yeah. through yes yes i love that lady so so technically okay you all started in 2020 as well is that what you're telling me yes. in regards to starting speaking for that yes is speaking for, yeah. that right there is just you I, I technically started um gsl in 2022 like you know what i mean i, I started like april 1st 2020 to be exact and wow. But I have been working on it like for years, but I finally kicked it off as a podcast then, you know, and it's just for me, this whole season has just been amazing. Like you said, you met so many, I've met so many people by doing this, um, including you two lovely ladies, you know, and I just feel like God has really, really been moving with his people in this season to um, not only create, but to, um, I mean, obviously creating conversations and being able to, like you say, reach people during this time so it's it's a beautiful thing to see you ladies that you know you kind of came together and now you know you you're connecting in this other way to reach out to others um i think that's a beautiful thing you know i, I commend both of you ladies and um it's just amazing like how much stuff has been has just flourished in the pandemic like i know that's crazy you know because some people are very you know i guess they they feel like it hasn't been a good time or whatever case is not understand that there's been a lot of negative things that have happened too but mm. i guess for those of us serving the lord you know what i mean it's been blessed right here you know what i mean like it's yeah. Been. yeah 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 very true yeah so yeah. true so, so true so that's awesome that is awesome so i'm wondering like i mean well obviously you ladies you you have your plans about the uh, non-profit and things like that the charity work that you ladies want to do but when it comes to speaking grace tv in particular like where do you all see it going like do you um kind of have a general plan or are you kind of just going with the flow like what, what are you all thinking in regards to the the movement that you've created on youtube well um like i said before we started um obviously it was like a vision and all that even the bible says write down the write down the vision about chapter 2 verse to make it plain and run with it so um we are very, very, op very, very optimistic. We see um, speaking grace going places. Um, we see us um, touching lives, impacting people, and all that. Um, but then again, um, we don't want to be too rigid, you know. Even though we've written down plans and all that, we have our own plans and vision. We don't want to be too rigid, you know. We flow with what, you know, the Holy Spirit tells us to do part time, per season. God is a, a, a God of time and season. So if he says, do this this season, we won't be rigid and say, no, we won't do this because we've written this down. No. But right. we see it going places. We see it um, drawing souls into the kingdom of God. You know, we see ourselves, just like Adana mentioned earlier, um, helping people. Um, basically, we are just here to serve, you know, we see ourselves mm -hmm. helping people, women, children, and just, you know, making people feel loved and appreciated, basically. I just see, <laughs> um, well, I've said it all. We just, we are very hopeful. Uh, by God's grace, by God's grace, yeah. Yes. I love that. So, so who came up with the name then? Did you all just, where did the name come from? Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. Oh. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. The Bible says, let your speech be seasoned with grace. Because we, we you know, Anna, Dana, we prayed, you know, we prayed about it before we started. And, you know, we started, down, what name are we going to give this channel and all that? What name? And we came across that um, chapter and let your speak. Because we'll be doing a lot of talking on YouTube and all that. Now, this... <laughs> let your speech be seasoned with grace and we're like wow that's it that's it everything mm -hmm. that we're going to speak from this channel should be words that will bless words that will lift people up you know words that we encourage people you know words that we build not we are not here to criticize we are not here to downplay anyone you know 
let your speech be seasoned with grace even if somebody has done something wrong or somebody is uh, on the wrong track you know would remember that place of grace and just you know season it there's a way you you want to criticize somebody or you want to say there's a way there's a way you season your word that the person would you know feel at ease you can come talk to me now and tell me probably you want to, you want to correct me there's a way you correct me that i will, that I will be angry and you can correct me in a way that you know i'll be like wow wow i'll, I'll, I'll even say <laughs> i will even thank you for correcting me because you've you've corrected me with love so basically speaking grace is seasoning our, our, our words everything that comes out of our mouth with grace and the bible says we are saved you know through grace and that's just an extension of love that is flowing from the inside of us basically yeah yes yes look okay sis all right <laughs> that, is so true, that is so true and uh, you know because that's that's one of the things that people say about christians right they may make it seem as if we don't i mean well obviously there has been bad representation of christ right there's people that don't yeah. necessarily show that grace and mercy i know we talked about that a lot on y'all show <laughs> but um but yeah like what you're saying here and then that's what turns people off from christ yeah serving christians that you know aren't following the word as, as the way it's written so I, I love that ladies i love that i know i don't want to hope now am i am i am i, am I overstep? you got something to say now i don't want to cut you off now if you have something to say no <laughs> <laughs> no, no okay <laughs> but yeah so, i mean i think that's a beautiful point that you made i think that's a great uh awesome definition behind your name and everything like that that is Thank amazing. you very much. Thank you. And I mean, obviously, I've seen like because I was even able to see, you know, even when I went back to look at the show and everything like that, it seems like you all are resonating with people that you, you know got people commenting on your things and um, you know that you know had a lot, of, a lot of feedback and things like that about what they were witnessing from the shows and things like that. So, where is it like people that followed your blog just started to just transition to your show, or was it? Just everything from scratch, and it, and it got to the place where you are, are now. Hmm. That's a very bad. I I um I just want to give all glory to God. You know, like you said, um, YouTube has been an is is it is it has been and it is an amazing platform where we've met a lot of people, beautiful people, amazing people like you, Miracle. Uh, like and I I keep saying that um it's like a family for us, it's like a family for us. and. Um, earlier we said one of our vision is you know to you know to tell people about Christ and just show them the love of Christ and you know um, draw men into the kingdom of God. So we've been able to connect with um, like mind um, Christians. You know some are also um, content creators and some just you know follow us um, based on you know what we share on our channel. And like I said. Um, we met amazing people. We have, to be honest, we have uncles. People will call our uncles on YouTube. We have wow. aunties. You know. yeah, yeah. We have sisters. Yeah, to be honest, we have sisters. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've met a lot of people on YouTube, and it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing, and it's, I don't know. I don't know how to say. We just want to, you know, appreciate everyone that has taken our time, you know, mm -hmm. to follow us and to just to subscribe to our channel and those that have been actively um watching commenting you know staying there it just it's just about that and what we do is we we, we support a lot of people as well those with those that are christian creators because we see ourselves as uh, sisters in divine yard in working for our, our father so it's not like it's not a competition on our own part it's just you know um us working together as the body of Christ. So if I see my like miracle, probably miracle is miracle is a part of the body. I'm a part of the body. Adana is a part of the body. Other you know others mm -hmm. are parts of the body. So we are not you know nobody is. There's no competition in this. We are just there to support one another, and that's all we've been saying. The thing is, there's there's uh, I don't know how to explain it. The harvest of uh, sowing and reaping you know like we said uh, when we talked about um love you know whatever you sow you reap 
So if you support people, definitely God will draw people to you. And for everything that we do is not because God is in it, it will definitely bring people, you know, that needs to hear. Because every message that comes out is at least for one person. You know that. It's at least for one person. And God knows how to bring that person to come over and then listen. And sometimes God can also give us a message and the message is for me or it's for Adana, you know. You yeah, will yeah. listen to it and just pick out what you know is for us from there and you know run with it basically. Yeah. So everyone that you see come to our channel, you know, some started with us, just few people started with us. But you know, along the way, along the way, I I I I I can't I don't know how to explain it. We've met so many amazing people too much. We just give God the praise. <laughs> um, the the only thing I just want to add is um 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 when we skip the part where we actually um joined um a Facebook family, a Christian okay. Facebook group. Um yeah, so we met a lot of people there, a lot of amazing um ama- when I say amazing, the amazing people there. Um so yes, um that that, that was like one of the first um action points of actions we took um when we opened um our channel so that was part of our outreach basically we joined one or two facebook christian um um content creator um facebook um channel um family and so we just picked it up from there then we met people and the people we met brought people to raw us you know so it just it just went on um like that and i must add um it's not all being rosy <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust me, it's not it, it's really it's not all being rosy at all we've, we've yeah. had our own share of um our own share of backlash and things like that and things we didn't Ooh. think we deserve but at the end of the day, um, we're Christians, and um, that that that's what um, Christianity is all about. It's not all about um, the good days and all about everything being rosy, basically. Um, so yes, um, we've had our share of um, backlash and whatever, and things we we didn't think was fair, things we didn't think we deserved. And I, I I'll be honest. Um, um, for the benefit of those watching that want to create their own channel and things like that, we've actually had um, our own share of the days where we we sometimes we think, oh, is it even is it worth it? Or at the end of the day, we know it is. Like so, mm-hmm. we're human beings, and we've we've had our share of all that. But at the end of the day, we know why we're here. And as Bumia said. Uh, number one, uh, uh, um, I, I don't know the word to give it right now, but our number one value or number one aim or objective or whatever on um, YouTube is we always remind ourselves that it's not a competition. We're not there to compete with anybody for the number of followers. or the, We're just there to do what God has sent us to do that's it so we'll go there we'll do what god has sent us to do we pass the message across and we leave it there that's it that man that is very powerful with uh, testimony from both of you all about your channel and everything like that um that was one thing that i was wondering like if, if you all have received any uh you know negativity or something like that because i know again like you just said with the christ message i mean you know it's one of those things that's going to divide people. So, I mean, you know, um, I've had a little bit, not too, too much on my stuff, but um, every now and then, like I would have somebody, well, one of the, <laughs> long story short. So I go live every morning to do like the, the daily inspiration or whatever. And then there was this guy that I, I know personally. So I was like, you could just talk to me if you really want to talk. Uh, but you don't mm. want to talk. You want to throw a dis- You want to sow a seed of discord in the middle of my live, and it was kind of it was crazy. But basically, um, he was bringing up the the issue, I guess, of like Pharaoh and um, how Pharaoh, um, how God, you know, killed the firstborn of 
the Egyptians and all that. And it was like, if a God did that, why would you want to serve a God like that or whatever? And he would ask me that question in the middle of me recording my podcast. Yeah, you know, I'm recording it live, you know, and I might not even be talking about Pharaoh or nothing. <laughs> and so sometimes when people log in, I'll be, you know, I'll be like, hey, shout out to such and such, you know, that's watching me live or whatever the case is. And then when he posts something like that, it's like I'm trying to address it. And then he would leave and it'd be like, see, that's just that, that's the enemy trying to sow in discord, you know, mm-hmm. and everything like that. That's probably one of the worst things thus far. Um, that I would say in regards to hat with, if you want to consider it to be backlash or something like that, when it comes to, um, you know, GSL and everything like that. Um, so I don't know if you all had trolls and, and people like that, that have like, Oh, of- trust me, but there's this incident that I'm actually still recovering from. <laughs> oh. Like this one, this one was, was like live. Um, it wasn't even it was on also a live event, yeah. yeah, it was a live, live, um, event. It wasn't even on our channel. So we were like, um, um, invited like guest speakers. Um, <laughs> no, we weren't like guest speakers. We called in basically, but it's but like a family it's... where we're, we're well known. And um, yeah. so, you know, just um, so I said something and someone didn't think what I said was um, right. And then, you know, she called to actually tell it to my face, <laughs> tell it to my ears <laughs> that it wasn't right. And practically called me like, not practically said it, you know, called me a liar and things like that. And, you know, and at, at first when he hit me to be fair <laughs> to be fair and you know what was funny about the whole thing is you know with um uh, uh with because we're married and we have a family you know we thank god for the kind of husbands that we have like very mm-hmm. supportive and my husband barely he barely joins me to watch all those but because i was in the kitchen with him so he had it and that's like one of the days he actually like joined me to listen to something. <laughs> and then, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he probably was like, "Look, oh no, oh, what's going on? What you say, huh?" <laughs> he was like, he, he was, you know, pulling off his sleeves and uh, getting ready to go and fight. <laughs> Oh man! So you know um, that that one that one actually hit me hard because I had to deal you know things like that. I had to deal with my husband, try to mm-hmm. make him understand that it, it it's that's just what happens. It's just mm-hmm. one of those things. And thank God for God. That's just what I'll say. Thank God for God because the truth is, the very minute it happened, I felt bad. I I felt terrible. Um, but one mind one mind was like you see yourself instead of you to just shut up your mouth and give to yourself who said <laughs> you this work that you have done now <laughs> like you know one man was like ah, okay, you, yourself. you will not get quiet you know but there was just this other thought that just came and was like think about it if you've not said something that hits the devil's kingdom he will not send someone to attack you mm. so just take it that you've actually won a victory today at least you have said like like you basically you basically actually disturbed the kingdom of the devil that's why he's fighting back yeah so i just i just i just um that 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 was just what helped me so i passed it off as this is just the devil fighting back because this person is actually just like he said um it, well not someone I, I i won't say we haven't seen physically but you know when we say youtube family mm-hmm, so this mm-hmm. person is like a youtube family gotcha. and i i just thought mm, okay i was going to be upset but at the end mm-hmm. of the day i thought i don't think it was her it had nothing to do with her it had yeah. absolutely nothing to do with her at yeah. all. It was just the devil trying to, you know, mm. do what he does best, basically. And right. um, I, 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 I'm actually, see, I'm actually still trying to recover from it. To be fair, because anytime I have to call him or anytime I get invited, um, 
now I think about what I say, which mm-hmm. shouldn't be. Um, I'm still praying to God to take me out of it, which I know He will. But I'm just mm-hmm. taking my time. So trust me, it's not just you. And you know, the last time me and we were talking about it, I was like, "Do you know this thing is going to be on YouTube forever? Like." This thing is going to be on YouTube forever for the rest of my life. My grandchildren and my great grandchildren will see this. You know, no, except, that, except that, the uploader wants to take it down, yeah, but it's gonna be. Mm. So, and it's not if if it was like on our channel, at least I can we can agree between us to take it down, and you know, and or make it private. Mm-hmm. But it's not it's not our channel. It's not it wasn't our program. We're just like guests yeah. and you know it's just it's right. just one of those things basically but that's what we say yeah and these days what i just that's tell myself saying, is, you know yeah. these days what i just tell myself is you know um and that's another thing the lord made me understand that you know in this christian race it's an individual race it's a personal race sometimes me and my husband will have different views and i'll tell him you know what i'm not going to argue with you because that's your opinion Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that's your opinion and Mm -hmm. my opinion is different i think that's why um some letters and numbers are actually seen differently same but Mm -hmm. differently like six and nine m and w three Mm -hmm. and e at the end of the day is what you're seeing from your side that you will tell I will be seeing three. Will women will be seeing E. Mm-hmm, I would mm-hmm. say it's three. She will say it's E. We're both correct. Mm-hmm. From my side, she's wrong. From her side, I'm wrong. But from my side, and anyone who's on my side, I'm right. Mm-hmm, so at mm-hmm. the end of the day, it's your personal. When I say personal, I mean intimately personal relationship with God. That's what Christianity is. That's what Christianity should be about. So these days, I try not to judge or argue or if I say something and you say that's not it, I take it as I've said mine, you said yours. Everybody has said their piece. Even though there are some very obvious ones that there's no personal anything about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Man, so much wisdom on the line right now. These two ladies speaking Grace TV, man. Y'all listen, okay? <laughs> I love that, though. I love everything you were sharing just now. Thank you for your transparency and sharing your testimony about that. Because, yeah, it does get hard when you're out here trying to do what the Bible say do, right? Spread the gospel. We're supposed to be out here making disciples and stuff like that. And the more that I do Bible study and stuff like that, I'm, I'm looking at it like, Lord, we don't live like this. Why don't we live like this? It's so simple. Like it's saying right here, what to do? Like everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll you'll get those people that either want to debate and stuff like that. And I, Lord knows I'm not nobody that wants to debate, especially Bible. It's like, okay, here, it says here in English, you know, or whatever language. I mean, obviously it's in several languages now. But what I'm saying in, in our situation, I'm like, it says right here what it says. Like, I don't want to sit here and argue with you about what it says. Like my whole thing is, you either believe it or you don't and that's and that's fine you got the free will to choose like that god gave you that free will to choose i'm not forcing anything on anybody yeah think, yeah 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 and you know so that's the thing is like i don't yeah but at the same time don't force things on me too but i think that's a lot of what's going on right now and that's why our voices both speaking grace tv gsl any or anybody else that is doing something for the kingdom that's why our voices are so important right now because the, if we're not talking then we're getting diminished and then no one's going to hear truth, right? No one's going to hear the gospel. And um, and there's a whole lot of other extra things going on. <laughs> and, um, you know, so, I, I, again, I think what we're doing, as well as what a lot of other people have been doing in this season, it's been very important. And, um, you know, so it's like every day we just got to keep going, right? We have to keep encouraging ourselves to keep going. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I use the podcast as like, it's kind of like a... Um, accountability in a, in a way just like yeah i wake up at four in the morning right and sometimes i don't want to get up because it's four in the morning right but you know every now and then i get those little reminders like for example there's this guy that tunes in from um australia and he'll come in on my stuff almost almost every day and so like there was one day in particular that i was really tired and i just happened to look at my phone and i saw that he commented on the video that i had did the day before and i was like 
I need to get up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, um, yeah, we have to find those things to, you know, help us keep going. And in regards, I don't know, you can use this and that, you know, you can take it or leave it. But what I do, um, a lot of times before I speak, I just, I say, hey, God, come on in and say whatever you want to say through me. So sometimes I, I surprise myself with the stuff I be saying on the podcast and everything. But um, at that point, it's like you can't, you know, whatever that person or that issue that person had with what you said at the end of the day, you know, after praying, praying that type of prayer, you can't, you know, I'm sure whatever you said probably wasn't even that difficult, you know what I mean? Or shouldn't have been that, you know, taken out of proportion, whatever it was. Um, but at the end of the day, too, it's like, I mean, well, hey, I prayed that God say whatever he want to say. He said what he's going to say. So I don't know. Like, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to argue about it or whatever, especially if you know that, you know, at the end of the day, if it's word or Bible or whatever, opinions, okay. You know, we might can debate or whatever, but Bible and stuff, I don't like to debate that. That's just, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. oh, opinions are okay, you know, but I, I think there's a place for, you know, um, um, just, you know, respecting people's view, just like Adana said, you know, there's a place for that. And also there's a place um, for, uh, for love as well, especially when we call ourselves Christians. Mm-hmm. Like I said earlier, you know, you want to correct somebody. I wouldn't correct. I can't. I don't think I will be comfortable. And obviously, we are different. But for me, I won't. I won't be comfortable to correct, especially somebody that I call that is like a friend or a sister. I won't do that, you know, publicly on a live show. I will yeah. go to you privately, you know, to Ooh, tell that's you. What to. Go to that person. Ain't that what words? <laughs> And then if they don't receive you, then you I bring some of it on a live show, which I will I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And if I'm gonna do it on a live show, I would I wouldn't say it in such a way, um I wouldn't present it in such a way that I'm 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 the one that is right or correct or something. And yeah, discredit the other specific The, the best way would have just you, been you've said your piece, okay. This is what I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. she was. She said some things that day, and I was like, "Wow!" wow. It was even that was fighting for me that day <laughs> because I was just, I was just carrying my heart in my hand, basically. <laughs> and you know, they, 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 we are both Christian YouTubers, and no, and she mentioned she doesn't know which kind of Bible you are reading, you you read from something like that, and I'm like, "Wow!" Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, so she I said. She basically said that the, the Bible verse I quoted was wrong. And I was like, um, okay. Okay. I didn't want yeah, to. You know, there, you was no, there was no point arguing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, again, like I said, even the Bible addresses things like that, right? Again, if she had a, you know, found fault against you or whatever the case was, you know, obviously there's ways to handle it. Like you say to Miss Hannah, like you've been saying this all the time of speaking in grace, right? Speaking and love and i guess that's the thing it's like when we see people not operating in that and if they're supposed to be christians too that's what make me side eye some people because i'm like are, are you not reading what the word say like it's like and you're not operating in the way it's okay you know and yeah. it's like this is what confuses people about christians because they'll they'll see people that are proclaiming to be christians but then they're not you know they don't like you say show that grace and mercy they're not showing love they're not being christ-like and it's like and it, again, it turns people away and more than we're supposed to be drawing people in. So mm. uh, it's one of those things, man. You know, I wish that we do, we would operate a little bit more like the Bible tells us to. Um, mm. Cause again, yeah, if, if we have true, cause you know that that's the debate, right? So people are debating about that. So for those that don't believe, like if we are the ones that have the truth, then the people need to hear that, right? And so, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, but how can they hear it if we're just, you know, spouting it in negativity or spouting it in, you know, in ways that are, because people are so easily offended anyway. And the yes, truth yeah. already offended by itself. You know what I mean? So that's what, for me, I'm like, I don't even have to, I don't have to condemn nobody. At the end of the day, the Bible say what it says. So you're going to get mad whether I'm telling you or you read it in there. Like, <laughs> what you want mm-hmm. me to do? <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's the thing. Like, I feel like God's going to be working on me about it because, I, at mm. the same time, and I, I talked about this before, so y'all can tell me, I don't know, y'all can probably help me, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I kind of feel like sometimes when it comes to 
conversations with different people and stuff like that, at some point it's like, okay, again, when it comes to the Bible and stuff like that, I already said I don't like to debate. And then also, um, and it's not that I don't care about people, right? Because it's like, okay, I, I definitely care. I'm out here trying to reach people. I'm out here trying to, you know, do, do my part to spread the gospel and everything like that. But at the end of the day, I, I also know that everyone has their free will and the right to believe what they want to believe yeah. and all that. So I've been trying to find out. Yeah. Because me, I'm I'll probably be like, all right, you don't want to receive it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be me. So I'm trying to work on that because it's like, well, maybe God wants me to, you know. I, but at the same time, I don't know. At the same time, too, I also feel like sometimes uh, different people may be there for different reasons. So maybe I'm just there to water a seed at that point, and then that's mm -hmm. it. And then somebody else is there to help them in another way, you know. Um, yeah, it's true. It's a girl, this thing can get deep, but <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you ladies dealt with that at all? Like, I mean, like, question your empathy when it comes to people, or or you ladies have been fine with that? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. The network was breaking. Oh, okay. No, I was asking if, um, if you ladies, have, have you all experienced something similar to that when it comes to, um, like, how you deal with people and everything like that. I know you guys are speaking Grace TV, so y'all speak Grace all the time, right? Y'all like y'all don't have the issue that I have. Yeah. To be honest, I, I don't think we've we've not had any exchange or you know speaking to people. In, so, like I said, speaking Grace, we need to remember, you know, whenever we want to respond to people, just make sure that you know it's seasoned with. It's even better not to speak sometimes, you know, like that day. <laughs> it's yeah, wise yeah. not to speak. Because if you speak when you are angry, then there's a tendency, not not angry, but you know, you feel it's not necessarily angry, but you just feel down and all that. There's a tendency to, you know, say what you're not supposed to say. <laughs> yeah. And um, well, for me. Um, an action I would have taken was probably to call back and just, you know, speak. But then I had people sending me message, inboxing, you know, uh, sending me message that it's all right and all that. And I don't want to look like because, like, I, I don't know. I told you earlier that I like I like to talk and I like to, you know, just trash out things. And it's not it's not that I'm angry or arguing or fighting. I just like us to. This is my point. This is your own point. I like us to. Um, I don't like us to trash out things. Let's speak. Let me hear your own view. Listen to my mm -hmm. own view. I, mm -hmm. I, I would have. What one step I would have taken that day? That you know, I'm not so happy. I, I was not allowed to take it. To be honest, I would have called. Yeah, I would have called and you know just, you know just let her know it's just a misunderstanding. That's your own point. This is my own point. I thank God you mentioned free will. Everybody has free will. You you can't. You can't discredit what I've said because you feel that it's wrong. Yes, it's what I've said, but you know. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's one way I would have. It's not like I'll come up and start calling names or you know arguing and all that. No, I'll just bring out my own point. That's one way I, I like to handle things. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Well, um, for for me, <laughs> <laughs> um, I well, I I. Women knows are more of the just carry your wallet and go kind of person. I can't. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> I like to be bothered. Okay. I like to be bothered. I don't like to speak yes, things on the um, Women, women likes to be bothered actually because that day she was actually the one that bought the the whole thing for me and i and i was like well, you know what just let it go she said no let me tell her that i was like maybe just let it go because another thing is i just felt that it was just going to be it, it, it was going to go back and forth back and forth because for someone to have come up um the first time when you actually didn't challenge the person to challenge you imagine when you now challenge the person or like try to I, I just thought it wasn't but uh, there's there's something there's something i've realized in this life that with personality with each personality comes grace so you see with miss personality god has given her the grace trust me 
yeah. a woman can pick a fight not well not like a fight yeah, yeah. like she can defend herself every anytime anywhere and she'll walk away clean if me i open my mouth hmm, they might come and bail me from prison because... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so yeah i'm talking about the whole um empathy thing and just i just i i, I just i just let everybody be like i said it's everybody's opinion so i try not to let it get to me um yeah. i i just let it go i might remember it for a while but <laughs> being angry no um being upset no um yeah basically that's it so we've, yeah. we've um at speaking grace tv we've actually not had any regardless of um some backlash and the incident of just we've actually not had any um real say back and forth about it um anyone we see we i think maybe that's the the what we enjoy in being to it's been the two of us so when we see something like that the other one we quickly call the other person have you seen this thing can you imagine <laughs> you know and whoever is calling if i'm the one calling we'll be like Hey, anyway, just allow the person to go. Uh, or if she's the one calling a blind, can you imagine? Anyway, let them go with their wala. You know, and we talk about it and then we go back and we reply, thank you very much, God bless you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> and things like that. So um I'll say maybe um one of the many blessings we get as being two on the um speaking grace tv is the fact that we can actually talk to each other um so yes maybe that yeah. that's what has really helped us um to keep our camp <laughs> to keep our yeah. camp. and the, the the good it's thing better. the positive thing is the the good outweighs the bad to be mm. honest a lot the a good, lot the bad is maybe can i say two percent or let's say I don't two or three two percent yeah so the good outweighs the bad that we don't even it's just i don't know how to explain the, the the good is about maybe 98 or 90 let's say 98 <laughs> percent so the good outweighs the bad yeah i was gonna yeah. say it seems like you all balance each other really well so that probably helps a lot in regards to the way you all you know approach different conversations and what i find too it it's also who you're talking to right because sometimes you can, you can be able to okay i can share the truth with you fully and there won't be no issue but then you also have the type of people that's like, okay, I got to find a different way to tell you the truth, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's probably what it just boils down to, I guess, sometimes. So, I, I mean, like I said, I'm working on mine, you know, I'm working on, like, communication and, like, you know, making sure that, again, because I don't have, I don't mind having conversations, too, like, like you were saying, Hannah. But at the same time, too, I think sometimes I'm just, like, the type of conversations that are going to be you know really really nitpicky or like going back and forth uh you know i try to just stay away from those or whatever so i think there's somewhere in the middle that i need to probably be and so i'm <laughs> working on yeah. Yeah. everything like that now I, I can sit here and talk to you ladies for a long long time so i don't want to be long in time because i know it's already probably like almost midnight there for you all so if you yeah. all could tell us um well what I guess well share one thing that you would love to to tell the gsl audience about you all or about your show anything like that and then also um tell us where we can find you and your show and social media or whatever else that you want to share all right thank you very much it's been a pleasure um coming here to chat with miracle i've enjoyed myself totally to be honest one thing i want to share about us about speaking grace tv um speaking grace tv is um a place to be um we share about god um we share about um encouraging um topics sometimes you know we sh uh, we um post fun videos as well where I, you know challenge at dana and most of the time i win 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 <laughs> <laughs> so um it's about worship it's about word it's about encouragement um it's a place to get you know edif 
edifying content and um you can find me on instagram as um favored daughters underscore daughters you can find um for some reason we don't we do not have a um speaking grace ig account or facebook account and adana has been she has been pressing for it and i just told that and i can't be bothered it's hard work it's hard work <laughs> but then um individually you can find us on facebook as well my name on facebook um anna along with me then adana esther abba yeah adana what, what would you like to tell the audience um well um first things first um just so all dsl fans know that we love miracle a Aww. lot yes, <laughs> <laughs> and you know we, I, I actually didn't realize it was past midnight already and like yeah. we, we we really enjoyed, enjoyed the um, conversation yeah yeah we're it's very cute yeah um um well Umi has said um I think almost everything about us. Um also um, one thing I'd like to add is yes, in as much as we, we try to spread the word, spread the gospel and all that. Well, Miracle as you've seen me, I'm just a carefree person. I like I like I like a good laugh. So yes, um we try to um add that to our channel a lot because we believe um people take christianity too seriously no not like obviously it's a, it's a very it's a serious thing because it's, it's a matter of your life eternity and all but like they, they people take it as if you're a christian you shouldn't like enjoy yourself you shouldn't smile you shouldn't laugh you should just keep mm-hmm. that straight face you know yeah. soja boy soja girl kind of thing so we try to um make people understand and realize that you can be a christian a true believer and still for and still be a fun filled fun loving person and there's so many so many things so many things to do as a christian to have fun so many ways to have fun as a christian um Mm -hmm. so yeah we we also try to preach that as well um especially coming from the whole pandemic people staying at home so then we try to any for anyone who cares to go to our channel or you know um has watched our channels and things like that and we try to put chip in those videos here and there like fun things you can do with your children with your mates you know like that so instead of going to do drinking competition drinking alcohol competition or something you can go do bible swording singing competition yes this as women said she always been one time my sister was like is it like you never win anything? I was like, shut up your mouth. <laughs> so like, oh I'm God. so ashamed to watch her. I was like, shut up your mouth. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> so yes, um, um, that's Speaking Grace TV for you. And um, we're always here. You can always reach us. Um, send us an email if you need to talk to us um like i said um earlier we 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 have a passion for helping others so we help in our own tiny tiny little way um it mustn't be money most times it's not financial um but we're always there to talk um we're always there if you need us to come to your channel we know that we're not celebrities yet we know we're getting there we will get there <laughs> So, yeah, so just in case you want to put us on your channel now before we get there. So when we get there, we are pet influencers. We are, we, are, we, are, we are the light of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, of course, we are, we are the light of the world. We are influencers, we are, you know. But, you know, as in the being in the world standard now, we're, we're, we're getting there, you know, to be mm-hmm. recognized all over the world. So, you know, as Miracle has put us now, just keep it in your archive eh? when when we get there then you can op- we upload it again so you'll be like i know this girl so <laughs> yeah so um uh, anyway back to serious talk and um, we're always there um you can always reach us on facebook you can reach with me on instagram well i'll advise reach with me then she will reach me i'm terrible when it comes to social media 
and things like that. So if you want a quick response, please reach out to me. They should reach me because it's only movies called that I see and I don't miss it because I know she'll kill me. Um, yeah. So even if it's financial, um, sometimes um, we we even if we don't have, we try to solicit. That's when it comes to that. When we know it, like push comes to water and things like that. Um, we 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 try to do our best. Um, we don't have to know you. We don't have to know where you're from or anything like that. Just um, we're all there to help out the whole Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I just want to say that um, I think one thing that we have in common with Miracle, uh, a channel which is GSL. Is that we are also passionate about you know relationship and we uploaded some relationship content on our channel as well mm-hmm. where we spoke about you know things to do you know things to know before you say i do things like that mm-hmm. you know we are very passionate about you know getting it right and just making sure that um we love you know god's way and um this is because um most of the problem that happens in the society is just you know the result of faulty foundation you know from you know love sex and that's why i love um miracle's channel uh, it, it's, it's a very unique um uh, it's a very unique area to cover thank you so much um for you know covering that you know part for us we are passionate about it as well and um going forward we look um um we're looking forward to discussing more more juicy topics you know yeah <laughs> you ladies yeah. are definitely back now i know you both were married and whatnot so we can have some good married lady conversations so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> welcome back and uh, anytime and i just want to say again thank you so so much for your time today thank you thank you very much thank you for having us we've had fun Thank you so much for watching God, Sex, and Love. And thank you to the ladies of Speaking Grace TV for joining me for this awesome conversation tonight. I hope that you all enjoyed it. And go and check them out on YouTube, Speaking Grace TV. Good night.